I'm thinking now, my mind's flashing to the night Argo wins uh, Best Picture of the Year. Michelle Obama and Jack Nicholson present to you the Academy Award. Man, now I'm starting to realize what a triumph that was for you. I mean, what an emotional moment. Better than the first Oscar for Goodwill Hunting. This was your fuck you, hey, I'm back. And you know what? I'm better than ever. What a moment. It was. It was the, you're right. I, I'm not gonna lie. That was the single most sort of self-satisfying moment. Because for so long, I just felt like I gotta prove I belong here. I gotta, I can't be a fucking, I gotta show these people. I gotta tell these people, you know, I gotta prove it. I gotta prove it. I, I, I mean something. I'm worth something. I, and, and years, 15 years after Good Will Hunting, and a lot of years, in, you know, in the shitter and a lot of fucking <sighs> tabloids and bullshit. And then to, and I didn't think we were going to win, but I'll tell you, you're right. It was much more meaningful because wow. it wasn't, and it wasn't even fuck you. I remember saying like, I, I, I mean, I, I, that speech is like a little bit like uh, uh, incoherent in my memory, but I do remember saying for some reason, like, I was so much to myself. You can't hold grudges because I knew that if I had held on to that bitterness, I wouldn't have got there. And that, you know, I was happy and I, and I felt like, okay, to have enough, enough. You're going right. to let me fucking, are you going to at least say, I don't, you can say you hate my movies, but can you at least do me the courtesy of reflecting fairly back to me? All right, you belong here. Fine, fine. It's fabulous. And I don't know how important these awards are to you, but I sense that it is important and it's your peers saying you're great. Uh, but you know, it was weird that you weren't nominated as best director for that. That was film. the thing I got. It was the big snub, right? And, yeah. and that was really taught me a lot because, you know, I did everything they told me. You got to kiss the babies and sh I schmoozed every fucking buddy in the world. Right. Part of it's because you're the director and you want to do it. But the truth is part of it's because I wanted it. I wanted it. And you're like, pe most people I think if they say they don't are probably not totally honest. I wanted it and I wanted it for that reason. And then, and everybody told me, you're going to, oh, you're going to win. It wasn't, you're going to be nominated. You're the lock. You're the nuts. You're going to win. You're a lock. And so, of course, I get up that morning, go sit in front of the TV. And I, I, I did assume I was going to get nominated. You know why? Because everybody said it. So what do you right. think? If all these people, they must know. And they read those names. And I remember thinking, like, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to get it. Like, no one's ever going to be willing to just say, okay, yeah, it was good. And and I had done everything. And so I, first thing I did was I called up the Warner Brothers people who worked really hard, who really wanted it for me. You know, and I said, guys, I think, you know, I'm done. No more, baby. I'm never going to do it again. No right. ass kissing, no handshaking. I don't give a fuck. They don't want to give it to me. Okay. And maybe I don't deserve it. If the directors didn't think I deserve it, that's their opinion. And that's fine. You know, they think that I'm proud of the movie. I'm glad, you know, Billy got nominated and Chris got nominated. And, and they're like, oh, we got picture. And I was like, yeah, we got picture. But they made sure to leave me out. Um, well, it's almost ludicrous to have the best picture of the year and the director didn't get an award. It doesn't even compute. That's not That's done. always one of those things like we had editor, score, Screenplay, uh, <laughs> picture, you know, like, well, yeah, so was the only guy fact. who fucked up was the lead and the director. I, I, I can do the math on who the asshole is here. And that day, I had to go to the fucking Critics' Choice Awards, which has, as me if my memory's correct, the single longest fucking red carpet in humanity. <laughs> and every single stop. <laughs> This, they didn't even have to say anything. This whole the mic goes so snubbed. You know, when you got to pretend that you're okay and pretend it didn't bother you because God forbid something bother you. I went in to the, you know, critics' choice, you know, got hammered the table, figured, well, we're fucked. And <laughs> then we fucking win. And I was like, we won. We won the critics' choice. Well, there you go. And so I went up and said, you know, well, I want to thank the Academy because I just didn't give a fuck anymore. And then, of course, like it happens all the time in life, we never lost another award. Maybe we won all the, every other, I mean, and they got plenty of them. You know, like, does anything yeah. need that many awards? Like, do we, we got one Nobel Peace Prize and 40 <laughs> movie awards. But, uh, so, you know, it was, it was a big deal. But I also, at that point, I thought, 
okay, I am glad we won picture. Obviously, it meant something to me. But I was like, I'm not going to make this my metric anymore. I'm just going to be like, I want to start out to do this. If I do it, I'll feel good. <laughs>